A Lost Island trailer is coming. Winter Wonderland 5 release date. And a story to bridge the gap between Genesis Part 2 and Ark 2. You're right, kids, it's Ross Clark, and welcome to your regular Ark Community News. Before we begin, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, share around, and let's get into it. So Cuda Cause ran a recent Twitter space whereby it was a live chat for people to get involved with, talk with Cuda Cause, who of course is the web and video production lead for Ark Survival Evolved, who, if you don't know, has made literally almost every single trailer for Ark since the first one. That's right, he has been heavily involved in creating the very best trailers we've seen for Ark up until this point, and with more to come. Including, of course, a trailer for the very hotly anticipated Lost Island DLC that's dropping on December the 14th. Free DLC, may I add, because it's based on a mod map that already exists out there that they've taken and have now produced it to be a fully fledged map to play on. In fact, you can play the mod map in its current state, but it's like 10% of what it's going to be. It's not revealing too much, but if you do want to see what I've discovered in the map i'll leave a link in the description yes it sounds like we're going to get a fully fledged trailer akin to the ones you've seen for the other maps like gem part 2 but of course detailing lost island in its entirety and probably showcasing the dinos as well when can we expect this trailer well it seems like it's going to drop on december the 14th the very same day that lost island will be dropping though kudakos did mention he's got a deadline date of a few days prior to this but I'm going to take a stab, you'll see this trailer on the very same day. What that does also mean is that the 14th of December is still to be the release date for Lost Island. So those skeptics out there that think it's going to be delayed even further, me, myself sort of included, it's not gonna happen, hopefully. We're not too far away from it being the 14th. It's only two, three weeks away. So it could be happening, 14th. I'm very dubious about this date release though, I must say, I think, it's going to be a bit of an overbearing situation for Wildcard, considering it's going to be over the Christmas period. Meaning, if there's any issues, any bugs to work out over Christmas, Wildcard are going to be called in to do that. Which kind of sucks for them. No Christmas break for them. Personally, I would delay this until Jan, but it's going to happen. I can't wait. I know a lot of you out there are looking forward to this map, in particular being a very primitive based map that seems like it's going to take everything out that's tech related and make it all go back to the primitive game you all want it to be. The three creatures that are coming out with the map are very anti-tech. The Dinopithecus that can throw poop grenades, the Armagosaurus that can break saddles with its spines, and the Cinemacrops is described as an anti noggling machine, scaring them away. Can't wait to see these in their true form. And apparently on the very same day you are going to get Winter Wonderland. That's right, you're going to get Lost Island and Winter Wonderland and the trailer all on the very same day. It seems a bit ambitious to me to be quite honest, but that's what Kuna did mention. Now, he did say that's what he knows up until this point. It all could change, but so far it seems like we're going to get everything on this day. It's Christmas for everybody in Ark. If you don't know what Winter Wonderland is, I think you can guess what it is. It's a Christmas themed event whereby a bunch of festive emotes and costumes will be coming out to play for you to use. With Raptor Claws flying through the sky at midnight, dropping little presents for you to get some mistletoe and coal and some other cool festive treats. Great event all rain. I do love this one, but I do think they should just delay it by like a day or two. Just bridge the gap between Lost Island dropping and this event dropping. It seems like a lot to do in one day, but it's happening. You're getting a very big day on December the 14th. Can't wait. Watch this space. Now, during the live chat with Cuda Course, you brought up something very interesting that I think is worth sharing, but certainly worth noting. This is Cuda Course's own project, not ARCs, not wildcards, not canon to the law of ARCs. So please don't take this as official news, but this is something, a pet project that Cuda Course is working on himself. And that is a story of a survivor on the Genesis Part 2 ship that, spoiler warning, survives the end of what happens at the end. I'm really trying hard not to spoil the end. But if you know what happens at the end of Gen 2, this will be telling the story of somebody who's still on the ship with his wife and how they survive. Think like the Martian, as Cuda Kors mentioned, and how that survivor will end up on the planet of which Ark 2 will be based on. Think like an alternative storyline for those survivors that never got to finish and complete Genesis Part 2. It's a very cool way of filling in those gaps and how this is going to be portrayed is even more interesting. If you've not kept up with Ark's recent trailers, Kuda's been doing these within Unreal Engine 5 and these aren't Ark 2 assets, let's confirm that. These are simply assets from Ark 1 that Kuda's implemented into the 
new Unreal Engine 5 that will be used for Arc 2. But again, this isn't Arc 2. This is simply Arc 1 assets. And using these assets, but more interesting, mocap suits, where of course you've got people in big leotards with loads of bulbs and stuff on them bouncing around a green screen. Those animations are going to be used for the characters for these videos that CUDA is creating. But don't forget, these aren't related to Wildcard. These are CUDA's own pet projects. I think in order for him to understand Unreal Engine 5 and the capabilities of what he can produce when it comes to the real trailers that we're going to see for Arc 2. Everything else that CUDA Course touched on, we've kind of already covered before. The animated TV series, of course, it's coming out very soon. We're going to hear what platform this is going to be released on. I think we're going to be told at the Game Awards, which is in a few weeks. But it was good to hear that all of the episodes for season one are all filmed and ready. And CUDA's watched all these, and I can't wait to see these myself. Overall, it was a great opportunity to get an insight into Unreal Engine 5 CUDA, what he's doing, what he's working on, and how excited he is for this engine with Arc 2. We couldn't share too much about that. Of course, there's so many Arc 2 NDAs out there, but it's great to hear there's a trailer coming for Lost Island. I do love these gameplay trailers that we get with the new maps and this story that's going to bridge Arc 1 and Arc 2, whether it be an unofficial story. I'm really excited to see that and it to be some unofficial buffer between the two games. So, Titan, the mod map we covered a few months ago. I caught up with Codigo Alex recently on the development of this if you're still following this mod map, and you should be. It is truly an impressive, immersive, ambitious project that I can't believe is still being developed. And what's going on next? What's happening next? Well, Codigo Alex did mention that very, very soon the first planet will be fully complete and you'll be able to be wearing these, the Navi skins. You'll be able to don yourself a bit of a Navi look if you want to, if you're a big fan of avatar of course you're going to want to on this insane creative mod map that is promising so much more and sounds like it's going to be in development all the way up until arc 2 can't wait to see what's next so of course it's that time again last week of course we gave away a noggling hat a noggling plushie a dodo plushie but don't worry I've got another giveaway after this. Oh, 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 look at you. Whereby I'm going to be giving away a Noglin plushie. But first, let's draw the winners of the Dodo plushies. Whereby there are two, two winners. And all I'm going to do is use this site to pick a random comment. If you say the word pineapple, you have bagged yourself a Dodo plushie. And I'll be in touch with you after the video. Okay, here we go. First comment up is Miss MJ. She has said the word pineapple. Well done, Miss MJ. Congratulations to you. You have bagged yourself your very own Dodo plushie and we will get in touch with you very, very soon. Second winner of the day is Inanna Avil. I think that's how you pronounce it. You did indeed say the word pineapple. So congratulations to you too. I'll be getting in touch with both of you very, very soon and we'll get them on the way to you. So how do you win yourself a Nuggling plushie? Well, all you have to do is comment below in this video with the following word, monarchy. That's right, promoting, of course, the Let's Play series I've been doing with eight other YouTubers, which is coming to somewhat of a bit of a conclusion as we jump into Lost Island. That's right, we'll be covering that very soon, but there's some very cool content coming out before that. I can't wait to show you what is happening Sunday, and especially the episodes after that. It's going to be a fun Sunday, Monday, Tuesday of videos for the Monarchy series. It's going off. My name is Ross Clark. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and as always, ah! Peace out.